So here I am in the AKCP test data center, and I'm going to be showing you our SP2 Plus with thermal maps and swing lock handles. So installed on our test cabinet behind me, I've got our thermal map sensor at the front and rear. The thermal map sensor will tell us the temperature at the top, the middle, and at the bottom of our cabinet of the cold air that's being drawn in at the front, as well as the humidity. So that makes it a four in one sensor, four sensor points on a single port. And then on the rear, I've got the same. And we also have two RFID swing handle cabinet locks providing security for our cabinet. That's one on the front and one on the rear. So let's take a closer look at how these are installed and where our SP2 Plus has been placed. So at the top of the cabinet here, you can see our uh, temperature sensor. And this is on a wire which is running through the cable run on the front door of this cabinet. And it comes down to our sensor box here where we have temperature and humidity. And then following this cable down to the bottom, we have another temperature sensor installed at the base of the cabinet. This cabinet has a perforated front, so we are measuring the uh, temperature of the air which is being drawn in by the servers through the front door of the cabinet. So here at the rear of the cabinet, we have the same thing. We've got our temperature sensor at the top and we have a temperature humidity sensor um, positioned at the middle of the rear door. And again, then we have a temperature sensor at the bottom. So this is a perforated rear door on this cabinet. Um, the hot air from the servers is being expelled through the rear of the cabinet. So when this door is closed, you'll have the hot air, which is being expelled at the rear of the cabinet, being measured as it passes through the perforated rear door. So on the front of the cabinet, we've got our RFID swing handle cabinet lock. So this allows me, via an RFID tag or card, to gain access to the cabinet. In case of an emergency, we also have a manual key override. I can unlock the cabinet using the key. You can see that we can detect when the key has been used, the, the light on the front turns to red. Also, when a key is used, as we can sense that status, it's logged in the system log, so you'll be able to see any time that the cabinet has been accessed during the day using the key. And of course, if it's accessed using the RFID tag, you'll be able to see who it is and when they accessed. By integration with IP-based CCTV systems, you'll also be able to see a visual reference of exactly who entered the cabinet at that time. So connected to the RFID swing handle locks, we have security sensors that can monitor the side panels. So should the side panel be opened, unauthorized, without somebody first accessing by the RFID card, we have security sensors positioned inside of the cabinet, which will monitor for this condition. So should I access the side panel without first unlocking the front door using my RFID card, we could sound an alarm or send an alert that the cabinet has been potentially breached. And finally, here on the rear of the cabinet, we also have uh, another swing handle cabinet lock and the security sensors on this are connected up to the side panels on the opposite side of the cabinet. So again, we can get the status should somebody breach the cabinet without first using their RFID credentials to unlock the door. So I hope that gave you a brief introduction to the thermal map sensors and the RFID swing handle cabinet locks. Now let's take a look at the SP2 Plus that these are connected to. So mounted in the zero use space at the back of the cabinet, we've got our SP2 Plus. We have the ethernet uh, connection coming in at the bottom here. We have our power supply, and then we have four sensor ports. So the two sensor ports uh, with red connectors are going to our thermal maps, and the two sensor ports with green connectors are being used for connection to our RFID swing handle cabinet locks. A wide variety of other sensors are also available from AKCP that can be plugged into your SP2 Plus. So you can see it's quite a compact unit 
it can always be found some space inside your cabinet to mount it. It's very versatile, connecting up with a wide range of sensors, and particularly in this kind of setup, it's perfect for giving you a complete rack monitoring system with security and thermal mapping.